वर्णिवे शर्मणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरो तमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदन महम विचित श्रीघनश्याम महाराजनी जय श्री हरि कृष्ण महाराजनी जय श्री ठाकुर जी महाराजनी जय श्री सदगुरु देवनी जय Today we are going to learn something about the greatest festival of the Hinduism, especially in our Hindu tradition of the celebrations and festivals. There is the, the, the there are so many festivals. They were specially celebrated only for the purpose of explaining or following some tradition, which flourishes only the society. which is only for the benefit of the society but some of the festivals and celebrations they were specially for a religious purpose meaning those celebrations those festivals they are only celebrated to fostering the spirituality in one's heart and among those spiritual celebrations the day of guru purnima that is the most important festival and the most important day for each and every spiritual aspirant why because the guru is the soul of a disciple there is two things happen in this satsang as well as in hinduism as well as in any of the path towards god meaning any of philosophical path which leads towards the god whether it be in hinduism whether it be in muslimism whether it be in christianity in any sampraday meaning in any faith but there is two particular things happen that is one is guru and second is disciple one call as guru meaning the spiritual master maybe call in christianity as a father or pastor in the same way in our hinduism in our uh, there are many schools of philosophy in hinduism also so there are different different words used for the guru but the main word is a guru so this is what the guru meaning the spiritual master one who leads the thousands of people towards bhagwan that doesn't mean like one who has thousands of disciples is a true guru that does not mean but the guru is the person who leads anyone who seeks his refuge who comes to him to find god and the guru help not only helps but he provide each and every facility each and every atmosphere to the spiritual aspirant so that he can easily attain the god realization and that's why yesterday we have celebrated the day of guru purnima on 24th july saturday this year in 2021 every year on the purnam of this month every spiritual aspirant celebrated this festival for not for his own uh, like benefit but on that day he offers everything to one's guru so this is the main event in the life of disciple so now we have talked about the word guru now take another word a disciple disciple is a person a disciple is a seeker one who always seeks to attain god without having any obstacle or with at this minimum obstacles no doubt in any way or any path one always have to face the difficulties and mis- miseries and problems and obstacles but everyone always think 
in each way that they might have minimum obstacles and problems on that way so the disciple also thinks the same way but everything depends upon the guru if someone gets the highest spiritual master then he has to do less effort but someone who has not the highest level of satpurus meaning in the vachanamrut of vartal third sri jimaraj himself described the four levels of the satpurus and according to those four levels if one one cannot get the company of the satpurus meaning the satpurus like that of vardwana ragni the fire which even happen under the water which it uh, the fire which burns the salty water of the ocean and so the uh, and give the sweet water drinkable water to the earth in the form of rain so such kind of satpurus they even turn the evil people into the dis- devotees of god so if one attains uh, attains the company of such a satpurus then the disciple did not need to do more effort to attain god because because of the power of that guru one can attain easily the god realization so now today we are so fortunate that we have attained the same same a kind of satpurus meaning like that of vardwan or fire so we do not need to do more effort like that in the previous in the like in ancient age there were so many disciples happen in the history like the aruni eklavya upmanyu they are the unique disciples in the history they have done many things to please their guru and when the guru please then they were got the eternal knowledge and eternal bliss within their heart without doing any like particular practice or without learning even but we have attained the spiritual master more powerful than they have attained in their life so now we are so fortunate that we have attained such a satpurush in the form of our pujya guru ji now let us start what is guru purnima and how we should celebrate it and why we should celebrate it and um is there only in the spiritual world the celebration and the feelings happen for the guru or is there anything also happen in the outer world meaning in the western world or the other world meaning besides the spirituality we'll learn today everything about the guru purnima first in the beginning the this day of the guru purnima how this begin how this celebrations how this festival begin in the history there was uh, it is believed and it is noted in the ancient scriptures that this day meaning the full moon day of this month is particularly noted as the birth day of bhagwan ved vyas we know about something we know something about ved vyas ji like he had he has contributed four vedas 18 purans also the shrimad bhagavat puran and even mahabharat brahm sutra and many other ancient scriptures meaning the basic scriptures of the hinduism was written by bhagwan ved vyas and that is why he was called as the master why because he has given the true knowledge to the human kind and because of that he was considered as a guru Gu- the literally meaning of the word guru in sanskrit it is said someone who give uh, who removes the darkness in the form of in the form of agnyan meaning the illusion from someone's heart and who provides the 
divine light in the form of eternal knowledge that is that person is known as guru meaning this is the literally word uh, literally meaning of the word guru so from that day from 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 the time of this ved vyas ji meaning from the time of mahabharat it has been celebrated this day as the guru purnima also known as vyas purnima on that day vyas ji had completed one of the great scriptures of hinduism known as brahma sutra so this is also the history and we are proud to have the one of the greatest commentary on this vyas sutra written by our adi guru muktanand swami so this is what the history and due to that his birthday has been celebrated as guru purnima now guru purnima is a day to be grateful to our gurus this is the perfect and precise meaning why we should celebrate the guru purnima what is the guru purnima and what to do on that day this single sentence give us the whole idea regarding the guru purnima meaning guru purnima is a day to be grateful to our guru that's all so, but the important thing is that some questions happen to our mind why because if we are new to this satsang then we do not know anything about this festival and celebration we only have listened the word guru purnima like today is a guru purnima that's it but why should we celebrate it and what to do on the day and many other questions we have arise so let me take one uh, one of the question why should we celebrate it we celebrate it because such a sant is so highly respected by me that even i place the dust of his feet on my head this is what the i simply quoted all the sentences from the vachanamrut i do not give any uh, any idea or something about from my mind because this celebration has been celebrated from the time of mahabharat if i have any particular idea regarding this day and if i myself promote my ideas that's not precise that is not considered as a good thing but if we can cons- we take some words from the scriptures then it should be like the precise answer to our question and that is why we should take here more examples meaning more quotations more sentences from the different different vachanamrits why because vachanamrit is the words of bhagwan swami and himself so in the vachanamrit of kurda first chapter 37 sri ji maharaj himself says such a sant is so highly respected by me that even i place the dust of his feet on my head so if bhagwan himself is placing the dust of such a sant on his head then what about us why bhagwan said this shri ji maharaj says this only to teach us only to preach us shri ji maharaj says if i elaborate this kind of mahima in the scriptures and by reading the scriptures for thousands thousands of years all the disciples all the followers of this holy fellowship they also engage in the same way meaning they also give respect to one's guru one the, the satpurush so if bhagwan did this then we should definitely do this and that is why we celebrate this festival of guru purnima we will take the point why we sh- uh, what to do on the day of guru purnima later but first we sh- uh, understand why we should celebrate it second in the vachanam grada first chapter 54 sri jimaraj himself uh, explain the satpurush as the gateway to akshardham meaning the akshardham is the final abode our final destination and if we want to go there after leaving this physical body this physical world 
then we must go there through the door and that door is the Sadhpurus. Without the Sadhpurus, no one can attain the Divine Abhara of Akshardham. And that is why Gunajdan Swami himself says in his Vato, Swami says, I have seen, I has been seen from like millions of years. There is not a single Jew, there is not a single person who can attain the Divine Abhara of God without the association of Satpurus. The same thing also says Sriji Maharaj himself in the Vachanamrit. Again, Sriji Maharaj says in the Vachanamrit Sarangpur chapter 10, when one has the darshan of such a son, one should realize I have had the darshan of God himself. So whenever we have the darshan of such a son, meaning one who has acquired the four qualities, meaning four greatest virtues of our Swami Narayan Sampradaya, meaning Dharma, Bhakti, Jnana and Vairagya. One who has all this set of four divine virtues, one is known as Ekandik. So, we have attained such a son in the form of our Puja Guruji. So, by doing his darshan, we should realize, I have had the darshan of God himself. That is why we have to celebrate the festival of Guru Purnima. We have to do pujan on the day of Guru Purnima of our Satpurus. Uh, next, Sri Maharaj himself says in Garuda last chapter 2, when, the, when he attains the company of such a son, he has while still alive, attain he who was to be attained after death. That's it. We desire to attain the divine abhara of Akshardham after leaving this physical body. We desire to attain the divine bliss which prevails only and only in the Akshardham. But here in this Vachnamru, Sri Jimara himself says, if we have attained the company of such Satpurus, like that of our Pujya Guruji in our Loyadam Parivar, so, at the time, we should consider our, our own self more fortunate than the others. Why? Because we have attained he who was to be attained after that, even merely by attaining the company of such a son, meaning such a Satpurus, in the form of Puja Guruji. So, we are highly like we we are highly we are very rich in the satsang we have attained everything we have attained bhagwan himself we have attained the satpurus we have attained the ekandik santos and bhaktos we have everything so we are so fortunate than the others by reading and by contemplating on these words of the vachanavada we should rem always remain fulfilled do not desire for anything else. Next, not only this thing only happen in this world of religion, but also in the outer world, meaning in the western world. Even Alexander the Great, he said, I loved my parents because they brought me onto this earth. But I loved my spiritual master more because he can carry me from this earth to the heaven. So if this Alexander the Great, he was like thousands, um, like many years ago, but we, he had not attained any of the sons of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. He had not even the, even the knowledge regarding Bhagwan, but still he understood the glory of his spiritual master. Why? Because the spiritual master, only and only the spiritual master can grant someone to the way to the heaven. Meaning, in our, in our tradition, without the aid of the Satpurus, we cannot get the Divine Abhara of Akshardham. If we want to go there to the Divine Abhara of Akshardham, we must need the spiritual master. So if this person, Alexander the Great, if he consider he understood the importance of the spiritual master, meaning his guru, then why we cannot understand the same amount of importance of our spiritual master? 
definitely we should believe, we should understood, we should understand the same amount of importance of the spiritual master in our life as well. If we understood the glory of our Satpurus in the form of Puja Guruji, then we definitely created, meaning the affection, the spiritual affection automatically develop in our heart for him. And if we have the Drad Preeti with him, then just as Sri Maharaj had said in the Vachanamut Gurudha last chapter 2, like we have attained everything, what even we want to attain after death. So that can, how we can feel that? If we have Drad Preeti with the Sadhpurus, then according to the Vachanamut Gurudha last chapter 11, we definitely feel meaning we definitely experience the same amount of bliss which is only in the Akshardha while I live without making more effort. So we should also understand the importance of our Satpurus in the form of our Guruji. Now the another question uh, what to do on the day of Guru Purnima? We'll see in the next slide. Next, please. What to do on the day of Guru Purnima? Okay, this question also arises in our mind. So definitely, first thing is we should do Pujan, Danvat, Panchang Pranam, meaning Danvat for male devotee and Panchang Pranam for female devotees and offering to Thakurji Maharaj because he is the Guru of all. Second, our Guru Parampara, meaning our Muktanand Swami, Adharanand Swami, Haripriya Dasji Swami, Vaikuncharan Dasji Swami, Narayan Sarup Dasji Swami, our Pujya Dada Guruji and our Pujya Guruji. So we should do three things. First one is Pujan, second one is Danvat or Panchang Pranam and third one is Offering. These three things do First, Thakurji Maharaj. Second, all the Sadgurus of our Parampara and our present Sadguru, meaning to our Puja Guruji. So now we understood Pujan and Danvat, but what is offering? We know this word is more used in the Christianity. The disciples, the devotees, the followers, they pay something. They even give some donations or some uh, gift to their pastor, their father, their priest. But in Hinduism, in the relationship with the disciple and guru, this is not only the meaning of offering. This is only very like outer meaning, very basic meaning in the term of our Hinduism. This is not called an offering. Offering is the very deep meaning in the our Swami and spirituality. Why? Because uh, when we consider ourselves as a disciple, so when we have attained the company or association of Ekantik Sadhpurus, and when we have accept him as Sadguru, meaning our Guruji, then at the same time, we have offered him everything. We have dedicated our everything towards him. Now, what we have remained to give him? What we have so that we can give him? Money? No. He did not need our money. Any special food? No. He does not have any longing for any kind of food nor he had any kind of longing for money no any like luxury of this world nothing what we can give him we'll discuss it later think that i'll discuss the same point after one slide but before that consider one thing think Whatever gurus, meaning 
all the other our sadguru parampara sadguru what they have done for their gurus if we take this in our mind then automatically our question would be answered what was our question what we can do what we can do meaning what we can give to our spiritual master as an offering this is our question and if we do not have any answer let we see what our sadgurus meaning what our guru parampara sadguru had done for their gurus in the next slide okay following their steps muktanand swami prays his guru ramanand swami similar to god in his letter in the bhakta chintamani chapter 41 in this letter uh, when uh, this event happened when nilkantharani arrived in lodge and merely by muktanand swami's saintliness muktanand swami's saintliness touch to nilkantharani's heart and nilkantharani decided to stay there actually nilkantharani had set for the pilgrimage to dwarka but on the route to towards dwarka there was a village lodge and he arrived there and in the ashram of ramanand swami muktan swami was the head and when nilkantharani met muktan swami he touched by his selfless saintliness and because of his saintliness only the reason behind nilkantharani is staying there that is muktanand swami saintliness he stay there he wanted to see ramanand swami why because nilkantharani was thinking like if the disciple muktanand swami has such a great saintliness in his life then what about his guru nilkantharani thought in this way and that's why he stay there for the darshan of ramanand swami even it is not in the vachanamrut sri ji maharaj himself said i told muktanand swami please make an arrangement for me to have darshan of ramanand swami after doing and after seeing him will we both together went to the forest and there will do meditation and tap over there in the jungle so uh he was only stay there for the darshan of ramanand swami but muktanand swami sent in his touch his heart so this first point we can think in our mind like as a disciple our life should be like that muktanand swami meaning someone who came into our contact definitely have desire to meet our puja guru ji not in negative manner but in positive way like if this disciple is so great then what about the greatness of his guru so in this way such greatness should be in our life then and then we are considered as a true disciple and muktan swami uh, as raman swami was not present in lodge he was at the time in the city of buj so muktan swami decided to write a letter so that the letter of muktan swami and he also told nilkant varni to write down meaning read write the letter for raman and swami and both the letter was sent to uh, raman and swami to the buj Uh, in this way muktanand swami made an arrangements but in the later muktanand swami used words for ramanand swami if we read, we read this if we read these words definitely if it is not mentioned the name of ramanand swami definitely one can misunderstood by reading those words like those words are used for god himself muktanand swami was not illiterate muktanand swami was not 
mad but he understood the real meanings of all of the scriptures all the scriptures said we have attained bhagwan god in the form of our spiritual master and that's why muktanand swami also worship ramanand swami as the form of god he has no any other bhav in his mind for his guru ramanand swami and this sentiment this emotion was feel in that later and that later was written in the bhakta chintamani by nishkuranand swami in the chapter 41 next let we see how much devotion and how much affection adaranand swami has for muktanand swami we know adaranand swami is a disciple of muktanand swami and even though adaranand swami was initiated by sri ji maharaj himself yet he has praised his guru muktanand swami in the starting of his book haricharitram sagar the greatest epic of the hindi language adaranand swami while writing the scripture he was bowed down to muktanand swami and he like he offered his devotion to him and he became more grateful for his guru he shows his gratefulness in that scriptures why he was the, he was initiated by sri ji maharaj himself and besides that he understood the real greatness of his guru muktanand swami we have not we are not initiated by bhagwan himself so consider how much calculate how much affects and how much devotion how much important we should understand in our mind for our guru so in this way all of the sad gurus of our some are of our parampara they have the same amount of affection and same amount of devotion for their gurus now it is our turn it is our time to offer the same amount of devotion to our guru pujyapad guru ji it is our time to offer our everything to our guru ji okay now our question i think you have think in your mind what was the answer of our question what can we do first one is obey his agnya meaning sometimes the guru did not say anything but still it is the it is the duty of a disciple to understand his uh bhav meaning his wishes meaning what he wants to do with me if he wishes for me to do katha then i should do katha if he wish for me to listen the katha i should listen the katha if he wish for me to sweep the floor i should, i have to sweep the floor in this way whatever he wish for or we should do that that is called obeying his agnya meaning following his command another thing is remember his prasang and words so if we do this meaning keep each and every moment he had performed in our mind if we keep those moments in our mind we would be get ba- very very more benefits b- benefits from that why because our mind is like is came in into the wave of this divine waves because bhagwan and his ekantik satpurush they are totally divine and if their actions come into our mind day and night then our mind also become divine our thought also become divine because we think through our mind so our other thoughts also become divine meaning our thoughts also become 
with the thoughts uh, our thoughts also are uh, color with the divinity of those divine incidents of our ekandik satpurush also he had said some words to us like bhagat you should do this you should not do this for me sadhuram you should do this you should not do this in this way he had told us many times many different words we should consider we should remember and memorize it again and again in our mind if we do this then his agnya his words his affection for us our affection for him always keep new to in, new to our life and if this remain new every day then we will also become like muktanand swami because muktanand swami has the same amount of affection for his guru he always remain like that he come today in the satsang such a greatness we will attain only we remember his presence and words also keep from faith in each and every action each and every words of him and fourth one is develop atma buddhi meaning dhrad priti this is most important point developing atma buddhi meaning dhrad priti for satpurus why this is m- most important point because it says in the last slide it's only because the type of bliss that prevails in nirvik of samadhi will continue to remain forever even without that samadhi if we have drad priti and atma buddhi with the satpurush then the type of bliss that prevails in nirvik of samadhi will continue to remain forever in our heart even without that samadhi this is not my words this is not my thinking this is the words of bhagwan swami narayan in the vachanavrut grada last chapter 11 so this is our duty to do this thing on the day of guru purnima if we do these things in our life then we have every day the day of guru purnima bhagwan and his ekandik satpurush they do not want money the worldly luxuries any delicious foods nothing they do not want anything from us they only want to do this they only want from us to do this nothing else that's called the greatest offering we have done on the day of guru purnima our guruji wish for us like we all became the part or the pillar or the bricks of loyadam parivar how if we became like our guru parampara sadguru like muktanand swami adaran swami hari priya das ji swami vaikun charan das ji swami narayan swarup das ji swami dada guru ji and guru ji if we live according to their wishes that is called we are a part and parcel of this loyadam parivar so let we pray to bhagwan on this very auspicious day of guru purnima also to our guru parampara all sadgurus also to our puja guru ji he thakur ji maharaj हे मुक्तानंद स्वामी हे गुरुजी प्लीज वी आर नॉट ओनली द डिसाइपल ऑफ योर्स बट वी आर योर किड्स प्लीज ग्रैंड एस फॉर गिवनेस ऑफ ऑल ऑफ आवर मिस्टेक्स एंड प्लीज ग्रैंड एस द डिवाइन वे मीनिंग डिवाइन लाइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिवाइन नॉलेज डिवाइन बुद्धि सो दैट we can always consider divya bhav bhagavad bhav in all of your forms and by that means we develop drad priti into your divine forms and by this drad priti we worship bhagwan and all of you sadgurus and also 
द होल सत्संग ऑफ लोयादाम परिवार बाय सेइंग दिस माय हम्बल जय स्वामीनारायण श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्रीपतिम श्रीधरम सर्वदेवेश्वरम भक्तिधर आत्मजम वासुदेव हरि माधव केशव कामदम कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भज श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय